Good morning, modern steaders. We thought we'd take you along this morning while we feed the chicks and take you out and see what's up with that broody hen. Ready? Uh-huh. This is like a little bit too much, so I'll probably put something on. Meat birds are getting pretty big. And they're not feathering out that quick though. I don't know, they probably quadrupled in size since we got them last week. That's too cute. I don't think they got them all filled up with wood chips. Ready to go feed the chickens? Yeah. Since we just fed the chicks? Uh-huh. All right, go get some grain. You ready to go out, Pluto? Making sure you're filling up the scoop good? Huh? Perfect. nice out. Uh -huh. I think it's going to be one of the nicest mornings out so far. What do you think? Uh-huh. So do you think the broody hen's still on our nest box? I hope so too. Ready? Coming in. Get in. Go. No, we're going in guys. Shake the grain. Love these. Come on, guys. Come on, Mr. Rooster. <laughs> Hold up. Pluto, sit down. <laughs> Is the broody hen still in there? Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, I want to hold the camera for a minute and cut out the water. So she stayed there all day yesterday and she's there again today. That's exciting. So I think we might be winning with the broody hen staying in her nest box. We'll keep an eye on her. And if she doesn't stay in that spot, we'll take a few suggestions from you guys. We'll either put her in a dog crate in here or maybe like a Tupperware container with a screen lid on it. One of the fun parts about having ducks is every morning it's kind of like an Easter egg hunt. Do you think you can find the duck egg? Olivia? Oh, you found... I didn't even see that one. There's another one. It's not in the nesting box. How do I get that? Go back there, reach your, Give me this. Don't reach your hand back there. <laughs> I didn't know they laid one in the nesting box. It's kind of funny. We have one of our khaki Campbell ducks that will lay in the nesting box, and the other one lays on the ground. Most ducks lay on the ground, but you got one of the ducks that must fly up there and gets in that box and lays an egg. The chickens lay eggs later on in the day, and the ducks usually lay them first thing in the morning. You got some hay in your hair there. That's a lot of hay. It was. It was just as long as your hair. So here is the homemade water, you guys can see, there's no wood chips in there. Here is a normal water, and it's all plugged up with wood chips. So now the milk jug style, it gets dirty, and you gotta clean it out every day, but 
they don't get plugged up where they can't get water from them. So these two we need to rinse out. And then just kind of rinse the inside and dump it out on both of them. So before we go in the house, tip it flat like it would be if it was sitting in the coop. And we'll drain out any extra water. That way we can drain it out in, out here, instead of in the house. So don't stick it in the corner, stick it like how that one is in the center. That way they don't get stuck behind it in the corner. So yeah, bring it more towards like the middle. Perfect. That's right, we haven't shown you lately how all the plants that we've started are doing. Wanna go show them? Uh-huh. All right. They got so big we had to bring them upstairs, put them in front of our sliding glass door that goes outside to our beautiful deck. You guys like that deck? You like that deck, Olivia? No. No? Okay. So here are the onions that we started from sets. I don't know, they're probably a good 10 inches tall. Let's see if we can get one out and show you the roots. Look at all them roots. They're rooted up nicely. The potatoes, we're gonna have to start transplanting them soon into a bigger container. It's not warm enough to put them outside yet. I think they're kind of starting to go crazy too. Our onions that we started from seed are right, yep, yeah, you that's the onion we started from seed. They're not doing bad, but they're not doing that's a root. That's a root too. So it's rooting up pretty good. The greens just aren't that big. A couple of tomatoes that we started that were from like five year old seeds from Baker Creek heirloom seeds. And we got a little bit of you have to be careful with that. It's really rooted up good, huh? Uh-huh. And then our tomatoes over here are doing awesome. The back half are Cherokee purples. Our purple Cherokee. Cherokee purple. Be careful. Yep. And they're rooting up nicely. Getting a nice thick stalk. Not quite the size of a pencil yet, but pretty close. In the front half, some of them are doing pretty good. And the ones in the very front are a little bit more lengthy than anything. And those are from High Moen Copia Tomato. Another heirloom one. It's an 85-day open pollinated. We hope that all your plants are doing good and that all your seed starting endeavors are working out awesome for you and that your gardens are getting going. You're Earthworms are starting to wake up and get ready where you got to wake up and get ready for the day too, Miss Yawn Butt. Yeah. We're in Zone 4B here in Northern New Hampshire, so we can't plant until Memorial Day weekend. We'll try to get all these seeds outside. I'll put them out in one of the chicken tractors with the greenhouse plastic. Use it as a mini greenhouse. Yes, sir. And we're looking forward to getting our garden started and everything else going. So we wanted to thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lambda Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.